everyone and welcome to your next episode of Cooking with Nicole. Today we're going to make a great summer classic, but we're going to make it so that it's keto. Um, I'm making a broccoli salad. Um, I'm going to make a double batch because this is a very popular salad at our house and we always go through it really quick like so. I'm going to make a double batch. I will have the information available for you per serving if you would just make one batch and when I post the recipe the information is just going to be for a one batch salad. So what I have here is actually almost 10 cups of broccoli florets. Um, uh, like I said, uh, uh, this is a double batch, one, one series would only be five cups. Um, and I've kind of cut through them a little bit more. You can get a whole head of broccoli and cut it up as tiny as you want. I took the easier route and got a big bag of broccoli and then just even cut the stems off of them a little bit and created them to be a little smaller. So our 10 cups of broccoli florets, we have um, two cups of shredded cheese. I'm using uh, a white mild cheese. You can use cheddar, you can use Colby, whatever cheese you'd like. We've got a cup of slivered almonds. You can use walnuts, pecans, or sunflower seeds, whichever is your preference. We have two cups of diced ham, uh, and then one and a half cups of mayo, a half a cup of granulated swerve, two tablespoons of white vinegar, and then just some salt and pepper and garlic powder for the dressing. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our dressing and then we're gonna toss all the dry ingredients together and then dump the dressing on the top of it. It really is a simple salad and this is a great one to take with you to the lake. You know, a lot of times we go to the lake and we feel like we have to fall into the trap of eating a lot of the junk food or the higher carb foods while at the lake and spending time with our family. And we certainly don't have to. A lot of the classic recipes like mac, mac salad, potato salad, broccoli salad can be done in a, in a much more lower carb way. It's just tweaking up the ingredients a little bit. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Everyday Low Carb Cooking with Nicole. Um, it has all, all three of these salads featured. I've done some low carb pasta salads using the Great Low Carb Bread Company noodles, and I've done a mock potato salad with cauliflower instead of potatoes. So subscribe and you'll have access to all of those videos. So to begin here, we're going to knock together our dressing. So we're gonna spoon our one and a half cups of mayo into our bowl here. Now you can use like a, a salad shaker jar if you'd like. You can put this into just a regular old mason jar. Um, I'm just gonna mix mine up in a bowl and use a whisk to combine it all together. Our half a cup of granulated swerve. And then our two tablespoons of white vinegar and then salt and pepper. And we're just gonna whisk this together. You may want to let the dressing set for a few minutes after you have it whisked together, just to give the granulated swerve time to dissolve down into the mayo and the vinegar. And salt and pepper and garlic powder to your taste. You know, uh, there's no exact measurements with this. I'm just kind of eyeballing it, and I'll probably add to it once we get it all tasted and put together here. And we just whisk it all up and put it together. The vinegar makes it more liquid. It doesn't seem like a lot of vinegar, but with the acid, it really does break it down nicely. So as you can see, it makes a lot of dressing when you do a double batch. You may not need to use this whole double batch of dressing. We're a saucier family here at the Lind House, and so we always like to have a little bit of extra dressing. But how you could um, balance this is add a little bit, stir it together, taste it. If it needs more, then add more dressing. You can always keep this dressing in the refrigerator for future use. You can put this on top of shredded cabbage and make a coleslaw. I actually did that a couple of nights ago and it was stupendous. This would be a great option for a coleslaw if needed. So we have our dressing put together there and I'm, like I said, I'm gonna let it set just so that the 
granulated swerve can kind of come together. And so now we're going to dump our cheese and our almonds and our ham into our bowl here. You can use crumbled bacon if you would like. Um, you can use some uh, leftover rotisserie chicken that's been cubed up. Uh, whatever type of ham you could even use, like some deli turkey if you'd like. Whatever type of meat that you prefer. You could even do a salami. I've never done it with a salami, but that could be definitely interesting and tasty for sure. It would add a different level of flavor with this, the different salt. And so we're just going to toss this together. As you can see, it's going to be quite the feat. You're definitely going to need to be using a big bowl to make this happen, to get it all tossed together here. And then we're going to apply our dressing and to continue to toss. So we're just going to put a little bit on at first. And then we are going to toss it together. Like such. Taste it and then re-toss. If you need more dressing, you can certainly do so. But I think you get the picture in a nutshell. This is your sweet deal for today. The recipe and the nutrition facts information will be posted with the video as always on Facebook and the link for the recipe will be posted on the YouTube uh, co comment in the comments section. I hope you enjoy this dinner and have a wonderful day.